Okay guys, if you see my other video, we're doing a couple tests on this 3.0. It's a Ford 2005 Taurus at 3.0 and we're trying to figure out why it's got a miss, why it's stalling out. We're trying not to use any computers, any OBD readers, nothing like that. So far we've checked the cat. If you need that video, click on my name underneath this video. It'll send you to a link to how to check the catalytic converter. Very easy. You're not going to cut it. You're not going to punch a hole in it. You're not going to remove it. Very easy to test that. So the next thing I want to test is a vacuum leak. So I've got my O2 sensors put back in from the previous video I just made. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. Got a little bit of a valve tap, no big deal. Now we're going to check a vacuum leak. The easiest way to do that is grab yourself some starting fluid. What I like to do is close the hood down to where I can barely see in there and it's dark and make sure there's no sparks anywhere because if it is a spark issue, you don't want to be spraying the starting fluid. So we're going to take the starting fluid and there's a couple other fluids you can use too. Carburetor cleaner is probably better. It's not as explosive or uh, easier to start under a spark and it still does the same thing. And brake cleaner will do it as well. I use starting fluid because it comes up really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check around the intake. I'm going to check all vacuum lines and I'm going to check the air intake where that comes in. So this is our intake right on top of the engine. If you don't know, we're going to spray around that to see if there's any leaks. We're going to spray the air intake and we're going to check vacuum lines. What this will do, it's like spraying starting fluid right into the intake if there's a vacuum leak because it's sucking air. It will suck this right into the intake and your idle will go up. You'll hear an advance in the idle. So let's listen. Oop. I don't hear no advance in the idle. Let's check our PCB. None. Vacuum lines. Nothing. We'll check the intake. Nothing. So therefore, I believe that not only is the catalytic converter good from the previous test, I also believe my vacuum is fine. I got good vacuum to the engine because I never heard the idle go up once. Where do we go from here? There's a few things that you check. Fuel, air, and spark. The fuel we can check with a fuel pressure gauge. The spark we can check with, well, there's multiple different things that we can check. Spark plugs, spark plug wires, etc. Which is where I'll go next, to the wires and then I'll go to the plugs. I always want to go the cheapest first. It's, this video and all my videos, if you know this, and if you're watching this and you don't know me and you haven't subscribed and you don't know my videos, these videos are about saving money. They're not about jumping to conclusions and buying parts and being a part swapper. They're not about buying $50 and $100 tools to try to figure out the issue. And they're not about taking it to a mechanic. It's about doing it ourselves. Because if a man made it, by God, we can fix the damn thing. So, I guess this video is done. That was vacuum. I don't want to make all these videos super long. So we checked for vacuum leaks. Hope this video helped you out. Please click like. Please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other videos. And again, just recently we hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You rock. If you need any more on this, again, click my name underneath here and uh, find the next video. The next video is going to be Spark. Um, I want to wait till fuel because if I use, if I check the fuel, I'll be checking it with a pressure gauge. And for you to have one of those, you'll have to buy one. And again, we're trying to do things here that we don't have to purchase until we have to. I have every possible tool that we need electronically, OBD readers, the whole nine yards to do this. I haven't even pulled a code yet because that's not what this is about. Thanks a bunch, guys. Enjoy.